guys, how you doing? Give a loser here, and uh, I had a request from one of you that uh, it's been a long time coming. How to play uh, Rasqueados, or in short, Rajeos. Rapid strokes of the right hand, and you can use them for flamenco style mainly, or Spanish style guitar. I've got some variations of my own. Keep in mind there are over a hundred different variations of them. I'll just show you three, four of them. need a lot of workouts. I personally have been practicing for about seven, eight years guitar and I started practicing Lasciado straight away and because I wanted to play the flamenco style music that could be played on the guitar for me and um, I found out that you need to learn these kind of exercises and learn them very very well and try to understand that there are many variations you can use and the variations also vary between them with where do you put the accent on the fingers. So I think this will be the most useful part of the lesson that's going to help you is start by playing off just a short double with your middle and your index, placing your thumb on the string top here to have some weight on it. Or you can even go on the bridge wood as long as you have a support. Stick the middle finger, the badass finger, inside the skin and put this part of your thumb as a blanket over it. What that, that makes right there is that when you try to release it, there's tension, so this will start growing muscles all the way here because this is where the muscles actually come, the tendons move all the way up. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, I've got a huge scar here is where I had half of my hand cut off, don't ask me how, and uh, I was actually paralyzed for over a year and the only way I was playing the guitar was only using uh, my thumb and then slowly, slowly my fingers started coming in and then I started realizing that most of the work could be seen here the fingers get muscles of course as well but this is a very important aspect for you to think about and massage daily when you do these exercises so put it inside the skin and hug it on top stick also the second one and do the same make this happen and then when you have the finger here, this will create a very strong position to practice on. And mute your strings, shoot out one. Try to imagine that the sound is when the finger comes out, not when you're striking. Down there. Lift a little bit of a twist and flick it again. It's literally like having something on your guitar, like a piece of paper, and shoot it out. You can use the back of your guitar, it's very handy. Or here so you can start listening now you're gonna start tidying it up a little bit the sound by trying to put an accent on the first one and do a relaxed second one try to reverse the accents that's all the kind of practice you would need daily you don't have to push it too hard and then to start making it into a roll after you strike the second one, you want to come up with the index and with a backstroke, cupping in the rest of the fingers as well so you're ready to repeat again your stroke, if you like. So having a, a third hit, that will give you a third option to where to mingle and play with your accent. put it in the second hit. Soft hit now. Notice where I twist my, my <clears throat> wrist well as much as I can because actually I've got 30% lost in the right hand after my surgery and I've been playing guitar like this 
for all these years maybe some of you notice the hand becomes really loose but that's up to the ability that my right hand can offer me so guitar is a good uh, physiotherapy as well for you out there instead of squeezing balls together and stuff like that so anyways uh, you can even try on the third one three different textures that we create with the same rachel, with the same exercise, but this is how you start putting a little bit extra muscle in those fingers. If you want then, you're going to go adding another finger. Again, the same where you have here splits. <laughs> you can stick it right in there, right in there, right in there, and put the blanket on top. Now you've got three strokes to practice and make an aim. Usually, I mean a diagonal for the three stroke as well. It can be straight, of course, but that's more straightforward in attack. <laughs> guitar makes a difference over the sound hole or in the back. So, now you can put this fourth one and roll back up again. Make sure you cup it in, pluck it in and have that. Now, you could be fast enough to stick the nails inside every time you play as well, but slowly, slowly, you're gonna start putting them less inside the the fist so in here it's really tight and then somewhere here and slowly slowly your fingers will be strong enough you're just gonna place them here and without having to take any stretchy force and still you're gonna have very strong strokes then slowly slowly you're gonna start with your little pinky right in there as well and start adding it by adding an index first so flick the first one I found the quadruple starts better when you add the accent on the last one. And then you should slowly start putting the accent there. You can even hear on mine as well that the pinky has weaknesses. Now, uh, I also did uh, the abanico roll at the end, which that I have two more videos, but I explain it really fast here. What I do there is that I try to create this bullhorn effect with my hand, and then I have this movement of the wrist where I twist up but still keeping this two cupped in. Now while my wrist is twist up I simply fan out the two middle fingers so I can strike the string. Now this is really important careful hold your thumb here when you do that so your wrist doesn't twist down. You want to go up but when you strike you don't want to twist your wrist down you want to go up keep your wrist there and open it. Now that you have the palm open in front of the hole you're going to twist again for the second time that's first time down and strike with your thumb and then as you come down you're gonna do the bullhorn shape again one and you should say in there two and cup in again so it's a little triplet one and two start to think about it in the beginning as a downward action just to make it easier and then slowly start adding the accent up And then you can also go more further into the guitar. Yes, and then to finish up, my own little technique that I like to do is come down with the middle, come down with the index, and up with the middle, up with the index, and that offers me a continuous roll. So I like to do it also with the ring finger, middle index, ring finger, middle index. It took me a long time to get those strokes to sound even. And sometimes I like to mix it. That's all my hard drive has time for. <laughs> if you have any questions, post them here or find us on Facebook, guys, and I'll be happy to make another video and explain in further detail. Make sure the accents are there, and that's how you're going to have straight in and out using your blanket. Take care, God bless. See you on the next video, guys. Make sure you comment and rate.